In 2010, the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad was approached by Hazelton Shaft, an anthracite coal company, to see if it could construct a siding on their property. This seemingly normal request would turn into a seven-year project. So really, uh, in the beginning, as with most uh, significant projects, it was pretty simple. George Roscos, who owned the coal company, um, was not rail served. Uh, he was building a dryer to get into the export market, and it made sense for him to have rail. From that point forward, it really got pretty complicated. Hazelton Shaft was not located on Reading and Northern Trackage. They were actually on the Norfolk Southerns line. The next step was doing everything that you have to do to uh, bring a rail facility in in today's world. Getting to the point where NS could uh, construct the switch was pretty arduous. And during that time, the market for anthracite changed rather dramatically. George went into a partnership with Hiller Carbon and started exploring the idea of shipping coal into the domestic steel business. The project was completed in 2017. It was time to devise a plan with Hiller Carbon in order to serve the destination steel mills. So the challenge was to reap produce what a trucking company does, consistent deliveries, um, short turnaround times on equipment, uh, the ability to kind of move as uh, situations warrant, and how you reproduce that so that the steel mills are comfortable with that. Because without anthracite, many of these facilities can't make steel. We've had uh, four other mills that have called us and asked us if we would reproduce what we did for them for those mills. Um, so we see a tremendous uh, opportunity to increase this business. The partnership formed by Reading and Northern, the Norfolk Southern, Hiller Carbon, and Hazelton Shaft has paid significant dividends. The railroad saw a 15% increase in revenue. It will take 6,000 trucks off the road. It speaks to the willingness to invest that our owner, Andy Muller, has. Uh, it speaks to the creativity and the flexibility that regional railroads, uh, that short line railroads have. Uh, I think it speaks volumes about our partnership with Norfolk Southern. And when you bring all of those assets, all those tools together, pretty hard not to be successful.